All right, so back to this iPhone 6s that uh, has a short on PP1V8 after replacing the rear camera connector and the PP1V8 filter. Um, so I'm just going to um, kind of as a rule undo anything that I could have done to cause a problem. Um, one of which is when I installed this connector I kind of moved it back and forth a little bit and it's possible that underneath here um, there could be some bridging and maybe there's a short to ground. Um, let's check ZXW and see how possible that is. So we got PP1V8 coming into this filter and then going to these two pads and we've got ground on either side of these two pads. So it's entirely possible that there's a bridge here or here. Um, so I am going to pull this connector back off and see if that relieves the short. Short. And I know this is one V8, so I've still got a short there. Um, really much chance of having a short. You know, it, it would take a lot to bridge underneath this connector. It would take like you know not having any flux really to do that. Um, uh, damn. I really wanted it to be something simple like that. Um, all right. So there's also the possibility that it could be you know, related to caps that are over in this area. So I'm going to pull this filter and separate the caps in this area from PP1V8 and see which side the short is on. All right, well, it is on the side that has everything else. Uh, boo. can it be? Mm -hmm. 
There's something that's all fucked up. Who's this guy? Could that be the cause? Let's see. Go back to <coughs> ZXW and this is let's see. One, two, three. It's this filter. Uh, no, that's a clock line for camera. So that's definitely something that's going to have to be replaced. Um, was likely damaged in the, you know, original damage that fucked up the camera. But it's not going to be the source of a PP1V8 short. All right. What other possibilities do we have here? Oh. Well, hey, look at that. One of these guys had some junk on top of him. I think it was this guy. What is he? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This, this cap. I don't know. Um, I guess I wasn't showing what I was doing, but I was just kind of picking away the junk on top of these caps and in doing that I have relieved the short. So that is good news. Um, now I will replace this filter that was damaged. And if everything goes well, we will have camera working. All right, so it was, it was one of these caps around here that I picked the, the black goop off of it, um, and that cleared my short. So it was, like I said, before it was just uh, like the, the solder traveling across the top of the component and creating a bridge. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but anytime you're using hot air in an area that has the components coated like that, um, that is a possibility. It's always possible.
All right. Now I'll put my camera connector back. Ugh. There we go. That works a little better. I'll get rid of any junk that's going to be underneath it. Again, I'm not going to be able to test this camera um, because the camera on the device is damaged. So I'm going to have to hunt down another 6S to test with, but I don't have one off hand. You can at least see if I solve the, <clears throat> the problem of it not showing an image. All right, one last test on the 1v8 line, and it's good. So let's see if we get some magic happening. Again, the last time this screen was working, it was broken and had like lines and black spots in it, but it'll still tell me if I have image and backlight. All right, well, I've got backlight, but no image. Actually, this isn't the screen. This, I think this one had no image. Let's see if I can find my other one. Totally unprepared. Right. Maybe the one that came with it will work. No, <laughs> the one that came with it is not going to work because it's all wrecked up. All right, so now I have to hunt down the screen that I can test this with. Great. No, I had a working 6S screen that was cracked at one point. I don't know where the fuck it is now. So, all right, well, then um, I guess I'm going to stop the video again and we will pick up with part three, once I get another device to properly test this thing with. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Look out for the, <laughs> the final episode of the pain in the ass success.